Hi, Creality has released a new update, Creality Scan 3.3.36. And in this video, we're going to take a look what's the update that they bring onto the table. I have already connected the author to the PC and I will choose the marker, Media Mode. Uh, when I click on Scan, you see that on the lower left corner of the screen we have two scan modes now now you can use the global marker to do the scan so what's the global marker help with the scan so now you can use the author uh, to make a 3d scan of the marker first So now all the marker is scanned, but your hands that's holding the device is not scanned because it will only detect the markers. So now all the marker is scanned. Uh, the speed is still the same, 30 frames per second. Okay, now the, all the marker is scanned and you can't uh, click on the point cloud if you optimize the marker and then you can start the scanning with the infrared. So when you flip it to the other side, it should recognize the marker immediately. See here, it's recognized the marker. So I can pause it and I scan, I can scan any part uh, I want without uh, continuous tracking. Yeah, it's just an example so that uh, now you can scan uh, a thin part, a thin shell with the author. I'll show you the example. So you can scan thin part like this. Uh, this one actually will be on my next video for reverse engineering. Uh, I use a Laptor Pro for scanning this one. Now you can also use the author to uh, make a 3D scan of a, a part like this because you need to have a, a global marker function to do this. Without a global marker, you won't be able to do this. Uh, you need to merge it but you won't be able to because there is no sidewall for overlapping. So the only way to uh, make the scan of a thin part like this is to have a global marker function available. Okay, let's move to the next uh, scanner, the Laptus. I've connected the Laptus X to the PC and the biggest improvement is the infrared mode with the Laptor X, Laptor Pro and the Laptor Original. Now they have improved the scanning speed and the tracking performance of the infrared mode. Uh, this time is almost as good as the other. So I would uh, make a 3D scan of this uh, helmet with the medium mode geometry and exclude the flat base which is work very well now. 
They also add the global marker uh, to the infrared mode. But I think most people, if they put the marker on, they will probably use the laser mode. But the uh, biggest improvement will be the speed of the infrared and the tracking performance. Uh, before that, it uh, tracked at the speed of uh, 20 frames per second and sometimes it has a stutter. So I never want to use the infrared from the Laptus, but now they have uh, improved it uh, with the Laptus X and the Laptus Pro. Let's start with the Laptus X first. Uh, Laptus X and Laptus Original has the same um, infrared sensor, so it would perform about the same See here, I get 30 frames per second and it's uh, very fast, I mean, and uh, a flat base removal is now working well. And it captures black color better than before. See here, it's black color, it's also captured. Before that, it's not captured black color very well. So this is a big improvement for the latter series. See here, you can't do this with the previous version of the software. It's just very, very fast. And when I try, yesterday I tried uh, four or five times uh, scanning this helmet. It's, it's no heat up, no skipping. It's fast, as fast as the other. If you use the Wi Fi handle, you won't be able to notice the speed increasing because the with the handle, the speed will be the same, 20 frames per second, but it will scan smoother. But if you want to feel the difference, a real difference, you need to connect it to the cable. Okay, here's the Laptop Pro infrared medium geometry. Laptop Pro. It look a bit different uh, with the Laptop Pro. The preview windows look a bit different. And I want to bring this to, to you, the Laptop X owner, but I can feel that uh, Laptop Pro tracks better than Laptop X for infrared mode with this update a bit faster if you don't use it uh, side by side you wouldn't know it but but if you just drop the Laptop X and grab a Laptop Pro I can feel that the speed of the Laptop Pro is faster see here it's no, no track losing the performance of the infrared is impressive uh, there is no improvement in the quality of the scan, but the uh, scanning speed and tracking performance is much, much better than before. I mean, it's almost as good as the other. So now uh, this will cut uh, necessarily for you to have uh, both scanners. So uh, before I would say that infrared with the laptop is, is not good it, tracking and seeing a black color, but now I I need to change that. It's much better than before. So now if you occasionally need to scan an object without marker, uh, the laptop is, is fine now for uh, infrared. Let's test the other object that I uh, couldn't scan in the past with the laptop's infrared. Alright. Uh, it's losing the track. So it cannot go uh, no, it's losing the track. I need to go a little bit uh, further away to see the seat here. No, not working. As you can see here, as soon uh, the reason that it loses the track because the uh, viewing angle of this scanner is too small for this object to scan without. Drifting.
Okay, I'll start with the laptop pro. Before this, I wouldn't be able to make a 3D scan of this chair uh, with the laptop infrared. It will lose the track and it not uh, capture the black color very really well. So it's uh, scanning at 30 frames per second uh, versus the versus uh, 20 frames per second in the past. So now I can uh, make a 3D scan uh, with the laptop pro in far right uh, with this chair. So I move to uh, laptop X. This laptop X in far right large mode geometry. This is dark color. So you need to adjust the brightness manually if it's a black color. Uh, before this, I wouldn't be able to make a scan with the headrest. Like this, this will not track. So now it's tracking well. Yeah, now now I can use the I can use the laptop to scan this chair. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.